Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD. Today we'll be designing this scroll, scroll to animation with these 3D objects. If I click on scroll to it, as you can see, it hovers, of course. And if I click on this, it'll play a sound as well as scroll down to a certain position. So check this out. Oh, that was amazing. And of course you can scroll back to the top just like that. This will take us less than 10 minutes to create. So without further ado, let's just get started. I have also started a Patreon page where I will be providing face-to-face -face mentorship, teaching, lessons, and more with each one of you guys. So if you wanna to subscribe to this, go ahead and do that. It's just $10 a month for all access. I'll have the link in the description. I will appreciate your support. First thing we'll be doing is creating a basic artboard. We can do that by clicking on A and then dragging out to create this artboard. Uh, for the dimensions, we want 1920 by 1080. So we'll just change these values and we'll have this artboard set up. Now inside this, we of course want a dark black background. So you can either go for a pure black or a charcoal black. I am doing a pure black in this case. Of course, the font that we'll be using is Nanito Sans. Uh, I'll just type in that itself, Nanito Sans. Uh, of course, you can write the original title with any font you like. And I will definitely give this more uh, breathing space by uh, changing this value here, uh, which changes the line height, of course. And I'll place this in the center. Now, under this, we will be creating the button which will take us down to that certain position. And uh, here we go. So, of course, uh, the border radius for this button will be 500 pixels. So it has complete border radius. I want this one to be slightly uh, lighter gray, something like this. And for this one, I want two shadows. How we will do that is by clicking on this. And of course, bringing 12 by uh, 24, 12 on the Y, 24 on the blur. And on the X, we'll have another 12. And of course, we will increase the darkness of this black, of course. And of course, we will just copy this again. And in this case, we will give it minus 12 by minus 12. And all the other values will be same. We will now change the shadow to white and reduce the opacity of this white to a gentle white like this. And we will put this behind this button right here. So now we have a single new morphic button which we've created here with a text saying scroll down. Now everything here is set up and ready to go. We just need to place the 3D objects. How do we do that? So in this case, I'm using a software called BoxShot 5. You can even use a software like Adobe Dimension, but since BoxShot 5 is 100% free, I will go for that. Once you have BoxShot opened up, it will show you uh, the simple menu of items you can use. In this case, I want other, and under other, I'll go down to the bottom. And already in the library, we have these basic shapes that we will use to create this 3D effect. So if I click on this, it will place everything on the screen with the same angle as in the image. There are three options, actually four options. One is of course, uh, turning the number of turns. In this case, you can keep on turning the knots uh, in this, see how cool this is. And of course you can change the number of sides as well. This, this is really cool. Once you have a fair object like this, you can of course change the materials from this menu here You can change the color. In this case, we'll go for something like a light purple and that looks really good. Once you have all the other shapes ready to go, you can always uh, click on the shape you want and go to this option on the top, which is which says render. And once you have that, you can set the values uh, to anything you like. But in this case, you must change the resolution to something high like 320 DPI or maybe even 500, 700, whatever you like. Once it's rendered and saved as a PNG, all you need to do is just drag it in into Adobe XD. And as you can see, BoxShot has already rendered a good reflection on the bottom. If you followed my instructions, you will have this re reflection as well. This gives more depth and uh, 
more depth here, right here in this. I've also copied over this circle, which of course I will be increasing the size of. That looks good. I also have this a circle, which is basically a sphere on top of everything else. This also has a shadow with it. Now we'll move on to create the scroll animation. For that, we will just increase the height like this. Maybe increase it a little more, looking good. Now, if I'm, I've selected the artboard now on the right, we have something called scrolling. And under scrolling, you want to change this from none to vertical. 1920 by 1080, so in this case, we'll have it by, at 1080. As you can see, we have this blue line created here. So anything below this, we won't be able to see. At the bottom, of course, I will be pasting this XD, which I've created again in box shot as well. I'll have all the files in the description. And I will also copy this purple, purple swiggly or twirly, whatever you want to call right here and place it above everything else. So I've already made this settings of XD looking as if it's a part of this and it's behind this in this case. So just kind of change it to fit that. Looking good, it looks real 3D realistic in this case. And of course, I'll just copy the scroll down to say scroll up and I'll place it in the center just for functionality, change from scroll down to scroll up. Place it in the center, looking good. Now to animate the scroll, what we'll do is scroll type and we will just grab this arrow on the right and I will shift it and just put it over this purple swiggly or twirly at the bottom. And there you go. We will also change the y offset, y offset to about 300. That means the page will only scroll up to this position above this pink area. And that's about it. Scroll up, we will do the same thing, but we will of course uh, make it scroll to maybe this text right here and also decrease the Y offset from minus 300 to minus 100 maybe, or minus 300 is good actually in this case. Minus 300 is perfect. Now we also want to add that sound effect on scrolling down. So what we'll do is just select this button here and right here under scroll to, you will have an action button. I'll click on this plus right next to action and under type, I will have, I will select audio playback and under audio file, I'll select the file that I've imported. So you can either add a new MP3 file or this one, this file that I have imported from the internet will go in here. Again, I will have the link to this file also in the description. And that's about it. That is all we needed to do in this case. You can even animate uh, this 3D squiggly to just fix with the scroll by clicking on fix position when scrolling and just shifting it to the top and putting it behind everything else. But in this case, we won't be doing that. So if I click on artboard and I click on play, I will click on scroll down now and see how it moves. Oh, that was amazing. And if I click on scroll up, it'll just scroll up. You can also add a voice or a sound effect to that particular thing. But I am absolutely in love with the new features. If you like my content, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, go down in the description and support my Patreon. It will really help the channel grow. Like this, like this video if you did. And I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.